is Drew Ebner with Gill Mortgage, filming another video for the Mortgage Reports. Hey, this, if this is the first time you've seen this channel, please subscribe. It's got a ton of useful content about real estate and especially mortgages. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about RSU income and what that is. So if you're in the tech space, you are very familiar with this. You are compensated with RSUs. For those that don't know what RSUs, and that's probably about 99% of the people out there, RSUs are restricted stock units. And so companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, and Google offer RSU uh, restricted stock units to their employees to retain them and to attract new talent. So in the Seattle market, which we're based in, RSU is a popular term and we see it every day in our mortgage practice. So in this video, we're actually gonna break it down and see how do you qualify with RSU income versus bonus. In this case study, we're gonna take a typical Amazon employee that makes about 160,000 per year. Now that's about the top end that an Amazon employee can make. In the first two years, typically an Amazon employee is gonna receive bonus income. In this example, we're gonna say in year one, they receive bonus income of 150,000 and 100,000 in year two. During that time period also, they're gonna receive stock, which is the RSU. Typically the vesting schedule is five, 15, 40, 40. And what that means is 5% your first year that actually vests, 15% year two, 40% year three, and 40% year four. Now in this example, we're gonna assume that this engineer at Amazon receives 200 stock units. Now. The key to it is, if you're an Amazon employee, you gotta stay the four years to receive those stock units. And it's based on what the stock price is at that time, and it vests. So currently in February of 2020, when we're filming this, the stock price is over $2,000. So in this example, we're gonna just make it easy and say $2,000 is the stock price. Okay, so here's our facts. So we know our Amazon employee makes a base salary of 160,000 per year. They're awarded 200 RSUs, okay? Our vesting schedule at year one, year two, year three, year four is 5%, 15%, 40, and 40, equaling 200 units over those four years. And the assumption is we're gonna assume the stock price never changes and it's at $2,000 per share, which is insane. That's why Amazon people buy big houses and have large down payments, is because they get to take advantage of that stock price and use it towards their down payment. So if you're new to Amazon, this is where you sometimes are gonna run into a challenges with banks. Many of the big box banks would only approve Amazon employees for only their base income and not count their bonuses because it wasn't guaranteed and would not continue for three years. Even though they have RSU income as well, uh, which is very lucrative. So in today's market, we have the opportunity to work with many banks that actually take that bonus income the first two years. And that's a game changer because many of the lenders out there in the space right now will not include that bonus income. So if you're a new employee, coming from out of state to Seattle and you have the opportunity to have bonus income for the first two years, good luck. There's not that many banks that will actually do it. So we're lucky enough to be approved here at Guild Mortgage with several banks that actually will take that bonus income. So in the next calculation, we'll show you using your bonus income, what you can qualify with your base salary. So let's revisit our test case. So we have an Amazon employee making $160,000 per year. We have bonus income year one of 150,000 and bonus, year, bonus income of year two of 100,000. So we're at a total of 250 of bonus income over the first 24 months. So an underwriter is gonna look at this in, in this case as 250,000 divided by 24 months equals bonus income of 10,416. 99% of the banks out there will not accept that. They will discard that bonus income. In your first two years, remember at Amazon, you're only vesting 5% year one and 15% year two. It's just not that much uh, income generated in the first 24 months. So if you're a new Amazon employee coming to Seattle and you wanna buy a home, 
you got to find a bank that has will actually take that bonus income in consideration. I have our 160,000 of base income, which translates into $13,333 of gross income per month, which is fantastic. Now we're, aver we're able to average the bonus over the next 24 months. So remember, that's 250,000. So 250,000 divided by 24, we're at $10,416 per month. So in our qualifying for a mortgage, now you can qualify close to $24,000 of monthly income. That's a game changer, especially in a high cost state such as Washington, California, or Oregon. It's, a, it's the difference of qualifying for the house that you want versus qualifying for the house that eh, kind of works for you. So when looking for a bank, especially with the RSU, you gotta do your research. There are many options out there. Many banks will only give you credit for the RSU, uh, RSUs that will be in the future and they're gonna discount them severely at 50%. In this case, if we were gonna take the RSUs of 200 units, discount them by 50%, which most banks do, times the stock price, that would only give us income of $4,000 per month. So as you can see, if you're a new employee coming into the Seattle market, using your bonus income versus future RSU is the way to go and it's gonna give you a heck of a lot more opportunity to buy in this expensive market. To sum it all up, RSU income can be very tricky, and you need to be with a bank that looks outside the box and is creative. So double check with your bank to see if they take RSU, and heck, if you need a second opinion, check out the Ebner team at Guild Mortgage. We'd love to help you, and we're an expert in RSU income. Hey, thanks for watching this video and subscribing to the Mortgage Reports channel here on YouTube, and we look forward to seeing you again.